Welcome to Moments with the Monsignor. Today I'm visiting the Cathedral of Mary, Mother of God, of the Chaldean Catholic Church. Many of us may not be aware, but the Universal Catholic Church consists of 24 different churches, all under the authority and the spiritual leadership of the Pope. Uh, 23 of those are much smaller than the Roman Catholic Church, to which most of us belong. Uh, they are much smaller because they tend to be ethnically and linguistically oriented. For instance, here in the Chaldean Church, founded by St. Thomas the Apostle shortly after the death of Jesus Christ, uh, it's a, a church that is in Iraq and Iran, primarily in Iraq, founded in Babylon, located today in Baghdad. It has an Orthodox uh, uh, partner, if you will, or a parallel church, uh, but it's Catholic. It, it has the Holy Father as its leader. Here in the cathedral, you can see one of the differences between the Eastern Rites, particularly the Chaldean, and our own Roman church. If you look up at the altar, you'll see that there are two vital places marked out for us. The word over on the left side of the altar, and the tabernacle over on the right. We in the West will say very often, uh, let us call to mind our sins so that we might better pre prepare ourselves for word and sacrament. And the Chaldeans believe that those two liturgies should, should be so distinct and yet so common that the word is enthroned on one side and the blessed sacrament reserved in the other. The Chaldeans still can do their mass in Aramaic, which was the uh, general language of the street in the time of Jesus Christ. It's interesting that here, 2,000 years after Jesus died on the cross, we have a group of people whose prayers go up to heaven in the same language that Jesus would have used with his disciples. The Chaldean church is one of 23. Uh, in our Diocese of Toledo, right on Navarre Avenue in Toledo. Uh, you can go see a, a, a Byzantine church. Rossford has a Byzantine church. There's another Byzantine church out in uh, uh, Marblehead. All of those loyal to the Holy Father, but different in, its, in the language and in many of the prayer forms that are used. Well, thanks for watching uh, Moments with the Monsignor. I hope that all of you will take advantage of the uh, opportunity to share in the Eucharist, to grow in your faith, and to otherwise evangelize the world by your love of your neighbor. Come home to the historic church of St. Patrick.